Hello, my name is Shayla Johnson and I'm the owner of Scarlet Crane Creations. I specialize in hand printed art and textiles that are used to create unique home decor and accessories. And I wanted to just quickly show you how you can create your own pattern repeat from the illustrations and drawings that you create. So let's get started. So I usually like to start out with a nice simple floral to get things flowing. If I haven't painted in a while, uh, I use M. Graham uh, watercolor in the tube. And um, you know what? I like the way they dry. Um, they dry quickly so that you can do a lot of different layering techniques um, and knock things out. So once you've completed your motifs, you want to go ahead and snap a photo. Now it's definitely ideal to scan these if you have a nice high res scanner at home, but in a lot of cases, I simply like to take a good overhead shot in a sunny area and move on from there. Once you're able to do that, simply import it into your software of choice. Now, mine, especially working with watercolor, is Photoshop. And so that's where we'll be focusing in the remaining part of this tutorial. Let's start trimming these out. What I like to do is use my selection tool to remove it from the white background. So that's what I'm doing here. We're gonna set the artboard to 22 by 22. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and select each of them one at a time. Make sure they're on their own layer. Once you have the motifs all on their own layer, you can go ahead and start duplicating these as you see fit. Now, I mentioned earlier that we'll be working on what we call a tossed layout. So that means that we really want it to appear as organic as possible, as though you have literally tossed motifs onto a uh, area or canvas. So what we're gonna do is take this little guy, select him, put him in the center here, and then we're gonna move one of the others alongside them. I'm gonna arrange these sort of randomly and then start duplicating them. And what you wanna do is as you duplicate, go ahead and rotate and mirror. That adds variety as well as complexity to our pattern. And personally, I like to make use of the white or negative space. And so I'm going to lay these out in a way that is random, but not very dense. Now, once you have the motifs arranged in a way that you're completely satisfied with, we're gonna copy those that are cutting off or bleeding off of the edge uh, to the opposite side so that when we have our repeat, everything will be seamless. We copy the motifs on the right side here. Select them. Group them. 
And then you're gonna duplicate that group and move them over negative 6,600 pixels to match your artboard. And be sure that that relative positioning icon is selected. So you can also do this uh, with the Adobe Textile Designer extension. It's fairly new, it's in beta right now. And you can go ahead and download and play with that. Um, I can quickly show you, I'm gonna just flip over. This is how it looks. Um, you can just simply select the same grouping of motifs and see this little checkbox? Click wrap and voila. It automatically copies those motifs over to the other side so that your pattern will be seamless uh, horizontally at least and then you can do the same for the top and bottom so once you're done and all of them are copied exactly where they need to be you should have a repeat that's seamless and in order to confirm that we will select our entire artboard here and make pattern. I'm going to go to this menu here to define pattern and once you've saved your pattern we're going to go ahead and open up a new document. Set that to a slightly larger area. I usually go around 60 by 60 and and do a fill with our pattern. Let's go to menu, fill here. And then we'll see that we have a seamless repeat. Till next time.